What up, YouTube? Team is here. Here is my review for the new Netflix film, Simply Tied Moxley. Now, Moxley is actually based on a book, and it's directed by Amy Poehler, who the last time Amy Poehler directed the film was that Netflix film, A uh, Wine Country, which I admit, despite starring some really funny SNL, SNL uh, A list stars, I was not thrilled with that film. So I was a little iffy about her uh, next directing film. But I gotta say, this film is actually better than Wine Country. You know, I thought it was really amazing. It definitely has a bit of a Mean Girls vibe to it. I'm not saying that because, uh, you know, um, Amy Poehler is in it. Of course, she was, uh, you know, and of course, she appeared in Mean Girls. I'm not saying it because of that. But, like, the tone definitely has a very Mean Girls vibe. And anyway, so here you've got this, um, t this, uh, softball named, um, Named Vivian Carter, who is like very fed up with the sexist and toxic uh, status quo at her uh, high school, and so she finds inspiration from her uh, mother from fellow's past, and honestly uh, publishes a uh, zine on that sparks like a school-wide a uh, coming age revolution and all. And she ends up uh, pretty much seeing, ends up finding out how uh, this um, how the school's uh, the school is very arrogant and all that and. Of course, there is like a scene where um, this girl had, you know, is actually uh, head home because you know the dress code and whatnot, and she is like very pissed about how, uh, you know, how the school is, and I mean her principal is even not even helping. I mean the principal, by the way, is played by Marsh K. Hart, so there's that. Uh, and she is also, and you also got Patrick Schwarzenegger, who of course yes is the son of Arnold, uh, who. You know, plays like this uh, entire football star named Mucho who comes like comes on and uh, bullies this uh, class newcomer named Lucy, played by uh, Alicia P uh, Pascual Pena, who of course uh, just appeared in the uh, Peacock uh, reboot of uh, Saved by the Bell. I think um, this uh, Alicia Pena girl is awesome. I I thought she was really great in the Saved by the Bell reboot, and yeah, I mean I, I thought Pena was really. Uh, of course, Marsha Gay Hart, um, you know, as the school, as like the school's uh, head principal, uh, Shelley is, you know, really solid. And of course, uh, you know, I uh, mentioned like the character I mentioned does harass and all that, and the principal does not do anything. Like seriously, she just tells, um, she just tells uh, Lucy, you know, uh, just say six of stones and all that. I'm like, what type of seriously? That principal needs to be fired. Like for real, you know. This is literally why a bullying happens in school. Most schools really, like, sad to say, this literally happens in actual schools. Schools don't really do much about it, you know? Like, they really don't give you squats on this. But, anyway. And, of course, there is, like, a, uh, um, this film is a bit of a feminist-based uh, film. I mean, there are going to be lots of crybabies that be like, Oh, this is, a, this is, uh, hating, like, male gen like, males and all that. This is a male bashing. This is not a male bashing film, people. Uh, but, like, lots of people will also probably say that this movie is just woke and, and whatnot. Eh, whatever, I guess. But, that's not, I still thought it was pretty decent. Like, uh, you have uh, Lauren uh, Tosai, who actually plays uh, Vivian's best friend. I don't know, she was terrific. Uh, some of the other, uh, like, on screen girls are pretty good here. Uh, Cindy Parker was also in this, too. Uh, you also had, um, some major stars, you had Clark Gregg. It was really cool seeing Agent Coulson in this, who, of course, uh, actually portrays um, Amy Poehler's, like, new love interest, if you will. Ike Barinholtz played, like, the teacher in this. I mean, Ike Barinholtz was always the best. Of course, Ike did work with Amy Poehler in the movie, uh, in the film Blockers, so... No, not Blockers. Uh, was that Tina Fey movie uh, Amy Poehler did? Not Baby Mama. Uh, Sisters, that was, that's what it was called. Uh, anyway... Uh, you even had uh, Josephine Langford, who of course uh, was just seen in the uh, you know after films. She's a little better in this than she was in after. Uh, you had uh, Nico uh, Nico Har Hariga, I think that's how you pronounce the last name. He actually plays like this uh, love interest of Vivian. Uh, the, he was actually pretty good. Angelica Washington uh, was also good in this. Uh, Josie Tolta, you know, speaking of the Say by the Bell reboot, she was also in this. Uh, this movie is really funny. It is clever. Uh, it does have some likable characters in it. 
I mean, it, of course, the Vivian character does do a lot of dumb stuff, like she does, you know, get drunk and all that. Uh, but I still think uh, Hallie Robinson, who I don't think I've ever seen in anything before, I thought she was terrific. Like, she played her part really well. She was very believable in her parts. I mean, I hope she does more stuff in the future, because I think she's an action key guy. Uh, Painted was pretty good in this. It's definitely really funny. It's heartfelt. Really decent coming of age tale. You know, if you guys, have, guys, I never read the book, so I don't know how the film compares to the book. So I'll take that for granted. So, but that aside, this movie is really terrific. I mean, if you guys have not really seen Moxie, it is on Netflix. Do yourself a favor, go watch it. I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, uh, let me leave with you guys. Have you? Did you have a chance to check out Moxie? If so, what's the over? Were you fan of? Like, did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, have you ever read the book it's based on? Uh, drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for one of the occasions. This is Hit Move Sign Out.